okay so now we are going to check how we can prepare the heat map especially for the micro array data okay there are a lot of programs are available freely available to generate how to generate the heat map so the major problem with uh, the online different type of online resources are there so the major problem with online resources are there, the limited number of uh, rows and columns are there so here i'm going to give a one website for you where it is highly useful for us where we can generate a n number of uh, uh, rows and columns uh, for generation of especially for the heat maps okay even uh, in by using the r program uh, different r programs are there uh, if you have a background of r program so that is much easier than compared with this uh, uh, tradition uh, this is this uh, basic code basic basic method okay so for this one we don't need to have uh, many computational uh, programming skills we just need to have the excel sheet and your data sets so okay and also uh, the met, uh, the heat map uh, generating website okay so the first thing uh, so these are the probe list which i got it from my data set which is having uh, a differential list. Uh, these are the probe list uh, which is having differential expression it means that they are up regulated and down regulated so these are the uh, probes of my my data set which is having a both up regulated which i retrieved from my, my data set my analysis micro analysis they are the up regulated and down regulated probe list okay so so i want to generate a heat map for especially for this probes only why means i see differential expression of these probes when we compare with the controls okay so i just want to check especially in all my patients and control what exactly the intensities are how exactly the uh, the heat map is uh, uh, looks like then we can you can give a clear resolution pattern for you how exactly they are different uh, from each other okay so here as i told you the first row should be sample and it should be labeled properly uh, you can see here i label them into copd and uh, controls so i are having i think around 70 or 75 uh, copds are there and more than 170 are the totally around 234 uh, samples are there in my list okay so i think the probes i got around uh, 152 probes are there which is uh, differentially expressed uh, in my analysis so first step is we just want to retrieve the intensity value for the each and every patient for especially for the specific probes so for this one you need to have a total probe list okay so that the probe the total uh, raw file where you generated from the uh, from our analysis or micro -array analysis so from the micro -array analysis i think you already generated this file okay so this is the file uh, we generated from the micro -array analysis okay by especially this is api matrix file so we generated by using the api package this is uh, after normalization we generated this file okay these are the intensity values so these are the total intensity values you can see if you see the total number of probe around 53000 probes are there in this list you can see here total number it is around 54000 probes are there in this list okay so you have to paste all this uh, in the same table in the same excel sheet okay so once to paste this one click on uh, click as a control a uh, if we control a it will select the total data in a file and name them as a uh, array okay so we label we'll name this whole data sheet whole sheet as a array okay so we are label them now we just need to load the command so we just need to load the command here uh, to get the intensity values so what exactly the command is here i already generated a command called as a vlook command so vlook what it will do is it will check exactly the vlook what it will do is uh, vlook is a command or uh, vlook what it will do is it will search for this for example here you can see this command i will just want to explain you this other command you can see the vlook and a2 so what exactly a2 means for example here if you paste this command uh, in this list okay see here really going to check so really going to check okay really is going to check for this id okay so for this id we are going to specify 
which table is okay so here we mentioned array array means we i told you here we already selected the table it's going to search an array table especially where it's going to select search it's going to search for this specific column for example see this one it's going to search for the second row second column or second column second row or col second sorry second uh, column okay so if it is exactly my match then only it will give you values for you so if it exactly this values match with this uh, this value then it's going to give a value for you okay so here i am having a 234 um, data, data sets are there patient sample for there okay so i am going to paste here to 200 4 okay so you can see not this number just need to check this number 234 okay so here i'm copying this one okay here click on this transpose mode okay so once you done this one you just cross check this one whether exactly it is matching with your uh, sample number or not okay yes it will exactly match with our sample number so next one we need to change this we look as a command okay so here go to replace click on we look we look up uh, replace with the equal to we look up okay so click on replace all once you done this one you show it 134 replace one so automatically when you replace it one it will automatically change this one as a command and it will look for the specific probe id in this table in this specific table and it will give value if you want to cross check this uh, number whether this is exactly matching this values are exactly matching or not you can cross check that one okay copy this one and paste here so look for this id Okay, this is the ID. Okay, so these are the intensity values for each and every sample. Okay, you can copy this one and uh, if you check cross check that one, just paste here. Okay, now you can see here exactly the values are matching with this uh, uh, ID. Okay, so now, okay, so now click on Control Z. Okay, so we should not override this one. Now you need to fill all this, uh, you need to find out the intensity for the remaining probes. Okay, for finding the each and every probe, it's very difficult to, you need to drag down this uh, complete column at the end of uh, every time. So, end of uh, the every probe, okay. So, we can do in a single shot, so in a single shot, what you need to do is, you just need to come to end of uh, this uh, probe, okay. So, click on 0, drag this one until you see 235, 235 rows. Okay, so 233. So we reach here 125, 297. Okay, so we just uh, need to do up to 235 rows. Okay, so here we reach to under 235. Next step is we just need to fill. We just need to find out the intensity for the remaining rows. Okay. For doing this one, so select the first uh, uh, the value and hold the shift. Okay, so drag down that one up to the uh, end of uh, that number. Okay, so here this is the last value. So once you selected this one, hold the control shift button. Okay, so hold the control shift button and press the down arrow. Okay, so it will select. Up to the end of the year probe. So after selecting this one, the next step is hold the control button, press control D. Once you press the control D, automatically the uh, uh, all the commands, all the formulas has going to fill in this particular rows and columns, and it will give a specific values for that specific probe for a specific ID. So it will take some time. It will take for loading the data. Okay, depending upon your configuration and system, it will take little time. 
So once it is done, uh, now it will show you total values for you to be inside this value stored here. Uh, so it works okay. okay. So now we have the total list. So next step is uh, select this one. Why mean this is in a command mode? This is all this all this in command mode. Okay. So so we just need to remove the command, copy them. Okay. So paste in a separate Excel as a number. So once you done this one, it will save this one as a number. So remove the last row. Okay, so remove the last row. And you need to create one more row at the top of the table. Okay, so you need to create a one more table. Okay, so here you just need to create one more row. So here you just need to label, you need to have two different uh, uh, labels are there, one is sample which is consists of a sample number and label, it should be a, all the patient samples, all the patient samples with the label with the one name, okay, so here I named as a COPD and all the controls should be with the other name, okay, it should be with the control one. You can use some multiple group also, but here for doing this uh, heat map, you, uh, minimum we just need a three different samples. Minimum of three different samples that the same samples are needed. Okay, with a minimum triplicates are needed. So in our case, we have a more sample, more number of samples in two different cases. Okay, save this one as a save this one as a uh, save this one. Add CSV format file. Okay, so CSV comma generator format file on desktop. Okay, name them as a heat map. So heat map. Okay, so click on this heat map and save this one as heat map. Okay, so once you save this one, so next step is uh, we need to go to uh, our, our actual website. So here, this is the website we need to go. So here, the metabo analyst. So this is a metabo analyst. Is a very good, very good uh, uh, web tool. We can uh, generate uh, different type of. We can do uh, a lot of multi analysis uh, for the, especially for the metabolic experience. So not only metabolic experience, as I told you, we can generate. Uh, we can do a lot of statistical things by using the metabo analysis uh, software. Okay. So don't worry about it. We are majorly focused on our heat map only. Okay. Click on here. Start. Click on statistical analysis. So click on statistic analysis. Okay. So here you just need to go to spec peak intense table. Select this sample column unpaid. Okay. So here I just named them as a heat map. Okay. So heat map CSV format file. So open it and click on submit. Okay, so here the data is loaded. Okay, so skip this uh, uh, missing information, whatever that is. So just skip everything. Okay, we are not going to do here any kind of uh, uh, studs. Okay, so here click on none. So here also normalization, everything just click the none. Okay, so here click on none, normalize, and the question. So now don't worry about the other tabs. We are more more interested in a uh, heat map. Click on this heat map. You can see here the heat map has been generated uh, for your uh, control and COP patient. Okay, so the distribution is a completely it looks like a little bit messy for us. So here, click on don't recognize okay, sample and now you can see here now clearly it is categorized into two different groups. Okay, so this is COPD group and this is COPD group and this is the control group. Okay, so now you can change this colors also. Okay, you can use this uh, red green color which is uh, major uh, major uh, prescribed color for any micro uh, micro heat map generation. Okay, so now this is the heat map of our heat map of our uh, 
for our data okay so you just need to save this one here click on this uh, art menu okay art tab okay click head to and save it the high very high resolution one uh, okay so dpa one default size is okay Click on the submit. Okay, so now you can save this file. So this is the generated heatmap file uh, for our uh, for our uh, for my data, especially for my data. Okay, so for 130, 161 probes. Okay, so where you can use this uh, heatmap directly in your publication.